give me 15 minutes. No, why do you always think we have so much time? We got a business to run here, bro. That's right. Okay. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hello. Welcome to the Whiskey Heathens World Headquarters right here in Fort McMurray, Alberta, where it's always five o'clock. That's correct. Literally always. Yep, it says so. It says it right on the clock. Yep. We're drinking something uh, very exciting today, mm. sent to us by our good friends, Drinks Inc. Yeah, they said, uh, I think you'll really enjoy this pork finished rye. And I was like, probably. Oh, I like those words. <laughs> yeah, sounds like something I could These enjoy. These are uh, the fine folks that brought in creek water and stuff, right? Yeah, okay. yeah. We actually liked creek water. I did. We liked the cinnamon as well. I did. Yeah, we purchased it out of our own money and enjoyed it. <laughs> um, well, let's... Uh... Yeah, I'm excited for this one, actually, because of the color. This is going to be good. Such a beautiful color on this. Very it's exciting. Port finish, right? Yep. Yep. So tell us, Ty. Uh, I hope I'm pronouncing this right. Uh, Milam and Green. Green. Or is it Milam and Grenade? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Milam and Green, I think. Uh, when facing down a great bear, this is hard to read slightly yeah. because of the light. When yeah. facing down a great bear, don't play dead. Commit to the fight. Black bears must be faced head on. Any sign of cowardice on your behalf may result in death or dismemberment, often both. Resist the urge to run. Rather, make light of the situation, keep eye contact, and pour a drink for two. Speaking <laughs> of bear, this is Kuma. Say hi, hi Kuma. Kuma. Say hi, Kuma. This is the uh, straight rye whiskey finished in port wine casks. Port wine, nice. Uh, M and green. Uh, established 2017. So very new. Very new. Brand new. Artfully finished, matured, and batched. Rye whiskey, 47%. 47%. Nice. nice. Proof. Nice. What else can we learn? We created this straight white rye whiskey finished in port wine casks for those looking for a rich, velvety spirit to drink at the end of the day. It's velvet, Bert. You're going to die. Ooh. After importing port casks into which we charged a small batch of rye whiskeys for finishing, our whiskey team found that the unique environment in the warehouse drove aromatics such as dark cherries and black currants from the oak deep into the spirit. Real deep inside. Ooh. Drink to celebrate the good life, either on the rocks or on a cocktail. In a cocktail. For more information, please visit Milan I'll be drinking it straight, thank you. Dot com. Distilled in Indiana, mm -hmm. bottled by Provision Spirits in Blanco, Texas. Yep. Cool. It's brought to Texas in uh, aged in the or sorry finished in the port casks and the team literally will taste it and taste it and taste it cover all 9,000 taste bud aerate it warm it up it, driving up it, it, that top note that cream pure vanilla it, it, it. sweeteners mm, that's a 10 Uh, they find the best ones that they enjoy. They marry them together and then again, taste it and make sure it's good. And then they bottle it. So I like the bottle, heavy base. Yep. I just found the label slightly hard to read. I agree. Shitty old man. Very eyes. hard to read this little uh, writing here. Oh, well. but it's not going to change the flavor. No, probably not. Taste is king. So we're going to give it a little snip at a sniff here. Can I get a sniff? Just a little sniff. It's a uh, sweet yeah, and rye. Sweet, subtle rye. Yeah, rye for sure. Not overpowering rye. Uh, a little bit of uh, dill, just a touch in there, but like a, like a prepared dill spread is kind of what it reminds no, me. No, um, when I was a kid, they used to have these popcorn stands. I can't remember the name of it, but you could go there and they all they sold was popcorn, usually in the mall. And yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They had special. You could get the massive bags, right? That's right. Yeah. And they already had flavors, and if you didn't want to buy the pre-made flavors, I'm just taste it without you. Okay, they have uh, shakers that you can add to oh, it. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And they had a dill pickle shaker. I, I know exactly what you're talking about with the white lid. Yep. Yeah, man. Yeah. That's what I get on this. Totally. That salty subdued, kind of dill. Subdued yeah, I like dill that. pickle shaker. Pickle fucker. <laughs> Very interesting indeed. Yeah. Shall we give it a taste? Oh, we shall. All right. Mmm. It's very flavorful. Um, it packs a, 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 an immediate flavor punch. And it's very soft going down. Dissipates quickly, though. Yep. 
Doesn't leave a very strong aftertaste. Um, short finish, yeah. Yeah, short finish. Very, that's, very that's short finish. Um, that concentrate of flavor is right away, and uh, that dissipates. And then all you get is that little bit of rye, that little bit of dill that lingers in the background. But I do agree, um, that's very uh, abrasively cut short. But that's yeah. okay. It's still quite flavorful on uh, on the palate. What's that on game the arrival. in uh, Price is Right? A little man goes up the hill and go over and he falls off. That one? That's the one. Hell yeah. I forget the name of it, but yeah, that's it. So the flavor, it just keeps going up and up and up and then it's just a drastic cutoff. Yeah. And then it lingers a little bit with uh, that alcohol taste. Yeah, so I'm not getting so much of the alcohol taste on the end. I'm getting that rye. The rye starts there as a big punch, flavorful punch, and then kind of dissipates, and then just kind of cuts off. Uh, now I can kind of see actually that little bit of the alcohol uh, burn. But uh, we got some water. We're gonna see how water. Oh, I didn't mention forty-seven percent. Yeah. So it's okay. It's nice to see they're not just. Oh, I did mention it. I said 94 proof. Yeah. It's nice to see that they're not just, you know, tossing another 40% at us. Yeah. Even 43 now. I'm starting to get tired of 43. Even 46. I'm like, come on. But this is because we drink every day, I almost guess, all yeah. day. So for the average person, they're still excited for 43. Yeah, this is nice. Just a little sploosh there. That's all. That uh, that port does shine through. Yeah. There's but, a sweetness there. Yeah. But not, not too much. It's not overpowering. It's not overwhelming. If you did this blind, oh. you know what it was? You might even think a touch of like red wine. With water. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, once again, I'm going to do a little yeah. bit more. <laughs> water brings that sweetness uh, forward and uh, forward on the on the nose, I mean. So the immediate hit is the sweetness. Let's see on the palate. Mm, that'll do. Mm. That'll do, pig. That oh, do. yeah. So water is where it's at for me for this. Just a touch of water cuts that uh, sharpness quite, quite, quite nicely. Yes, this is quite an, indeed a good beverage. Okay, so I'm talking shit when I'm saying 47. Mm. Nice. When you drop that down to just around 40, it's pretty nice mm -hmm. too. I prefer it with a little touch of water. I think I do too. Yeah. 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 Weird. Weird. Yeah, it's quite nice. Um, it's quite nice. It's, it's, it's a little bit more earthiness when you add that touch of water too. More hay. Oh, very interesting note. I could see that dusty kind of uh, hay pile feel. Hot straw bales. Hot straw bales. You ever seen one just spontaneously combust? I actually lived next door to a, uh, like, not a farm, but like a, a horse place. So I'm used to stacks of uh, like hay the and stuff. Well, I guess, I guess. Hobby farm? Well, hobby ranch. Hobby Ranch. Yeah, I would say. That's... Yeah, really Bob, cool. if you're watching, cheers, homie. My first job ever was shoveling shit into the wind. You know, I would ride on the back of the little uh, horse carriage, and when the horse shit, I would scoop it up with my shovel. This does not taste like horse shit. No. But it does taste a little bit like that hay, like that sleigh that we would actually ride on. It's very interesting. Here's, here's what I like about doing this show and trying all these different things. Um, palettes differ. Hopefully ours match up with yours. One of us does anyway. Yeah, with someone. Yeah, and uh, you kind of get a vibe of what we've been doing if you've tried some of the other stuff. At 47%, adding a touch of water, bringing this down to around 40, maybe 41. Yeah, mine's, I would say there. just over 40, but not yeah, much. I think I did the same. Not much. Um, I like it better. Mm -hmm. And that's the best part. So mm -hmm. if they thought that at 47%, this was the best for them, Obviously, I'm going to assume that's, uh, you know, Indiana and mm. Texas palettes. Could be. Up here in the Great White North. We're going to ask our friend, friend Lord. Greg, see what he uh, thinks about that whiskey dramster. We'll see. That's very nice. It is quite nice. I'm happy with that. The sweetness on the nose after the water. Man. Would you say this is like 75 bucks? Yeah. Something like that? 80 bucks, I think. Yeah. I'm at 80 bucks, I'm not mad. I think it's 79.99, as a matter of fact, in Edmonton. For a good rye. Yep. Good rye. Yeah, there's it. no reason to be mad at that. Mm. If I purchased this out of my own money, I would not be upset. There you oh, go. I think anyone could enjoy this if you like uh, rye. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, cheers. Cheers, brother. Cheers, homie. Cheers, cheers to you M and G, Milan and Green. Mm. Cheers to Drink Sinks for hooking us up. Thank mm -hmm. you so much. I heard it was uh, good.
Green's favorite cask too. She loves to use uh, pork casks. So, well done. <laughs> yep. We also enjoy pork casks for many things. Yeah, we do. We like port casks. It tastes very youthful. A uh, little bit of a zing to it. It's quite. It's quite nice. Yeah. yeah. All right. See you. It's I good enough to finish. Watch. Yup. Yeah. Girl. <laughs>